lot of YouTube people probably mess with this gimme his dad got a little uh, um, model unboxing for you uh, we've got a double unboxing well double box unboxing with plenty more aircraft inside so just landing is the Aer Lingus Green Spirit 320 we're going to presume from Dublin it's a nice livery I do wish someone made it on one to scale um, that shows how close I am to the airport right that went terribly wrong so let's crack off this first one this one is originally from eBay um, but I have a feeling it's like an eBay shot of um, Aviation Megastore in Holland, which I think is in, based in Schiphol, um, and it's a really awesome looking airport um, model shop. It's huge, um, and they've got like um, I think something hanging from the sea, like over a big model wall. I'm not too sure. Um, that's kind of relevant. Um, but yeah, let's crack open this box first. I believe I remember which model it is. Should be something not for the UK airport if that if that helps though. Well while I'm trying to saw through this sheer amount of uh, brown tape, you can have a quick guess on what it is. And whether you're right or not. So it's an American airline and it was a Canadian made plane. Or it probably still is a Canadian made plane, but it's turned over to some a French manufacturer. Well, a, a European manufacturer. Which actually the box is now wrong. Perhaps. So for a massive box, we have a small plane. So we have the Delta. CS100, which is now the A220-100. I still call it the CS100 or the CS series because that's what it actually is. So I believe it's pretty much brand new, uh, unused, which is lovely. I got it for about 25 quid, which I think is about £10 cheaper than um, what it retailed at. So as per usual, standard Gemini Jets box. You can see the model in there in the cradle. And you've got some information about the... Uh, the aircraft, so I'll give a tap on there. Hold it there for a sec. So if you do want to read it, smack that pause button. I think that's long enough. Uh, just show me your general specs about the aircraft, range, etc. Stand, just standard procedure. Picture of the aircraft on the side. Bombardier CS100, 1 to 400 scale. The item number, Gemini Jets logo. On the back, barcode, Gemini Jets logo. Yeah, no, no, it's not a toy, it can break. Same on that side, same on that side, and then some generic features, as real as it gets. On the back, as real as it gets again, as real as it gets again. I do think it's as real as it gets. So this was a 2018 release. Which was surprising, actually. I thought they released one, um, released one sooner than that. I didn't realise it was all the way back in 2018. Let's get this open. Cool, it's so much easier. I'm using the um, like one of those car tripods for your phone, and I've just shoved it on, on top of the cat food container, and it works an absolute dream. It's like the perfect height. So, yeah, I'll drop it out, shut the box up, I'll put the actual cradle to the side. I do love the C series. I'm sorry, I couldn't see the screen there, so I'm trying to find. Do love the C series. It's a very nice little aircraft. Um, I love the wings. So view from the front. Oh, it's missing wheel. Oh, I wonder if that was in the description. I'll have a look. Won't be too worried as long as it stands up straight. Uh, the wings are um, very very nice. I do like the rake wing tips, like the new ERJs will have them. Um, so it's the side, we've got the current delta. Let's see if I can do some zooming. Oh yes. That's some lovely detail there, the statics, I'm gonna presume like an avionics hatch there. Um something little under the door, I can't quite work out what it is. Um very nice. 
So if we move back, got the Delta logo, got the wing light, emergency exit, got the registration, which is November 101 Delta November, rear door, the APU exhaust, and the stab. And the stab bay access, which is under. So if we go underneath, APU cows, stab bay access. I'm going to say they're all the um, toilet exhausts got the lovely delta on the underbelly moving forward we've got the landing lights pack outlets main gear uh nose gear door sorry and the cs100 which they always say on the americans underneath under the wings no issue at all to the other side wherever it is there it is so again Lovely Delta logo, cargo doors, registration, etc, etc, etc. And the engines, of course. So, I'd say that'll be enough of that one. What I'll do is I'll put that one behind here. So then we can move on to this Mahusid box. So, this one is from my familiar seller of aircraft model store. Um, and as per usual, when I do an unboxing, um, can't recommend them enough if you want uh, a bit of money off your purchase if it would be your first purchase that is um check out the link down in the description you get two pound fifty or something which pretty much equates to um it's near enough the shipping cost uh, to the uk so um it's well worth it um well worth it even if you don't buy anything just check it out um Whenever you buy something, you save a bit of money and also um, the channel gets, I think, 10% of your purchase price. So say you buy um, £10 worth of models or whatever, you're very lucky to get some multiple models for a tenner. Shoot me the link if you've got if you do that. Um, but um, the channel gets, say, one pound. £1. Of that, and the same with if you spend hundred pound, we get ten pound. Really good deal. Uh, really helps out the channel, and also helps you guys because you save a little bit of money. So, in this box, we got kind of a bit of a rushed order. Um, should I just look into it? I can't remember. Ah, I think I did order the Phoenix one, um, rather than the NG one because the Phoenix one was about ten pound cheaper. Um. And I'm really not too worried. So I'll get them all out of the box. I'll get the ground box away. So we have the Virgin, the Phoenix Virgin Australia Atri Turkey 200. That can go there. We have the NG Models United 757. Her art in this is the California one. I've got the um the New York, New Jersey one on order. Next one, the JC Wings Etihad 787. This is the flaps up. I haven't actually got any flap down ones. Can't wait to get that one because I did originally get the Phoenix one, but um, the back of the engine exhaust was wonky, so I actually had to send that one back. And unfortunately, it didn't come back in stock, so I had to get a full refund on that one. The first main issue I've ever had with a um, person I've had to send a model back. Then finally, Virgin Australia 737 800 with the spit skimmeters. Because uh, there is the other version that is without the skimmeters. And that, if I got it, it kind of makes up the whole Virgin logo, which is an awesome thing which JC Wings do. Uh, sorry, NG models do. So, shut that to the side. I might as well crack on with this one. So, now we know them, um, standard MG Models box. Excellent art, uh, box design. Uh, picture of the plane, Boeing 737-800. Boeing licensed, down here. Virgin Australia, the registration, which is Victor Hotel, dash Yankee India Victor. MG Models logo, 1 to, 100, 1 to 400 scale. Then the uh, start of the Virgin name. And I don't know what the Australian 
I think she's a mermaid rather than a normal, um, rather than the UK pink girl. Um, V-Sync in the comments, you'll probably be able to tell me which one it is, whether, uh, if, if, what the uh, logo is. So, on the side, picture of the plane again. This side, Virgin Australia logo. Picture of the plane, Virgin Australia. On the back, pretty much exactly the same as the front, just with a little bit more uh, warnings and cautions. In other words, don't eat the plane. It contains small parts. Let's try to be in a good position to remember how, remember where the camera angle is. So, straight out of the box. Do you have any other quality control issues that MG models have been stated for recently? Not that I can see. Beautiful. So, once again, let's do a bit of zooming. Excellent detail as per usual. So I'm gonna get myself on the wall so I can stabilize a little bit. Beautiful lickers for the skimmers. NG models once again truly nailed nailed it. And then to the underbelly. Nothing special really. Just the same old logos and antennae. That we'll all expect onto the other side. Got the doors and everything that we expect from NG models. So this one boxing's getting on. So I won't rush it because it's all precision. So I'll put this one to the side. I just probably won't go too in depth on the uh, other one. So next up, we'll do the JC wings. So their box is all. I'll Look back to normal. That box is all quite weird and they're massive for what they are, which is quite annoying. Um, let's put that down, put that off. Comes with a little card, no idea why. Doesn't that all sound? I don't know, it's because it's a blank box. Comes with a card with all the specifications. It's such a that's a waste of plastic. You could save like 5p not putting that in there. Some people might enjoy it, but for me it's a bit of a, why, why do I need to know this? I absolutely adore this livery. It looks spot on. Oh, and the engines are in good condition. That's always good. So compared to the Phoenix one I had, there's a lot of difference, like the uh, the paint looks right. It's heavy, which is always quite nice. It's obviously solid die cast. Uh, but it's just such a nice livery. And is it still 2018 GP? I don't know if they change it every year. So let's do some zooming. Beautiful. I do love this livery. I love the grey Etienne logo on the back. They're um they're truly the masters of special liveries, really, I'd say Etienne. Abu Dhabi underneath. Beautiful. Let's flip to the other side. All the same, all bloody gorgeous. So I didn't really cover anything on the JC Wings box, pretty much because I can tell you now it's just an orange square box that comes with a silly little card um, and a picture of the plane on the front. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that one out because I need to rush out an airport update today. It is Friday and there is progression on the Australian airport, I'll tell you that now. Uh, but that will come on the Australian Airport update video, which hopefully you guys will enjoy. It should be coming out next week at some point. So, leave that one there. Next up, we'll do the Virgin Australia. Do it back to times two. I won't cover the, air, the aircraft too much in depth because it's going to be the same as the 7 3, just bigger. 
standard Phoenix box, we will know the procedure. Not as nice as the NG, but I'd say Phoenix boxes are probably a little bit nicer than Gemini's and BC wings. It is a shame that we all have to look out for the quality control issues that you find yourself in, especially with the price of models these days. Phoenix, I can always kind of under not I can let go with Phoenix because they're that little bit cheaper. Um, their pricing hasn't really changed compared to like the likes of Gemini Jets. NG models have always been highly priced. Um, but it's never been. Come on, stop focusing on my hand. There we go. Nope, that, that, there. It's a really fine line between focusing and not. There we go, quick rushed. Little overview. Because I know you're all going to be excited for her livery. Or the plane's livery, depending on what, depending on what uh, the plane identifies as. It's a Boeing that could identify as an Airbus. I can't say they're wrong. Um, right, moving on to the piece de resistance, the NG Models Her Livery 757-200 United. So they're all of that the one around. Lovely box art, as expected with something like this. It looks truly beautiful. Really, I wasn't really too arsed on the California one. I was really arsed on the New York, but I'm really glad I got this. It's a really nice looking livery. So they've done the same way I used to do my custom boxes of everything kind of fades in. So it's white at the bottom of there, so it's white there, kind of kind of situation. That's how I would do a box. Well, that's how I used to do my boxes on my custom models. Nope, nothing's falling apart. I've never had an issue with, I know people always moan about if the wing falls off, if something falls off, just glue it back on, it's not that bad. I know we shouldn't have to for the price we pay, but it's really better just to glue it on than to do roughly the paint. So, do you have, it does make you wonder if these aircraft are actually gonna be in use for much longer. God, they have mastered that. That is beautiful. Decals are also crisp. That is outstanding. The underbelly is still a bit boring, but it's just a grey underbelly. A bit of blue on the back, but they have truly mastered that. There must be an American thing where you don't have to put the wedge underneath the wing. I noticed that with my Delta. Let's have a go front on it as well. That is gorgeous. I would definitely recommend this model. If you can get a hold of it, get it, because it looks beautiful. So, that'll pretty much sum up the video. Now, it's been a long unboxing. Video. It's been a fair few to unbox, surprisingly. We've got times two. Beautiful. So, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to quickly uh, get an Apple update out, because uh, I need to do it today, at some point before the weather kicks in. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Adios and goodbye.